Hey guys, Dave with Able Cine here. Today we're talking about some C100 Mark II rigs. Um, we've done some blogs on general rigging and kind of what we see in the field working, what we see people using. Today, I really want to talk about what I personally like. This is definitely not supposed to be the you know, end all and the be all for every shooter. You know, this is just happens to be what I like. It's not the perfect rig for everybody. Kind of starting off from the very, very bottom of this, um, I've chosen to go with a lot of Zakudo accessories. I think that those accessories are really, really good. They've done some really, really cool, innovative things. This rig is mainly based off of the EVF recoil for the C100 Mark II from Zakudo. Um, you know, you see Zakudo accessories on the top. I have a Gradical over here. Um, I have a Zakudo Universal base plate. What I really like about this rig is it's still lightweight enough to where I feel like I can take it and you know, go into a lot of different types of scenarios, go into a lot of different situations. It's very, very robust. I feel like none of this stuff is going anywhere. None of it's going to you know, be wonking around on me. I don't have anything hung off of arms and that kind of stuff. Like Everything is very, very rock solid and stays in place. I've chosen to go with some um, Airy grip relocator and the uh, Airy hand grips. I really like Airy, Airy's build quality. It's really, really robust. And I favor you know, these grips just because this little bit of relocation downward is nice for me ergonomically, and yet it's still compact. And as you can see, the camera can sit up. I can just set it down you know, just off the shoulder just like this, and I can pick it up you know, again. It doesn't tilt over. It doesn't tip, any of that kind of stuff. Um, kind of going from there, I have Zakudo Universal Base Plate for um, the camera. I really, really like the ENG style base plate for the camera because I can go on and off of a VCT plate. It's very, very robust. It allows me to slide the camera back and position it where I want to. So it's just a really, really good piece of kit. Um, on the top of the rig, you'll see that I have the Gradical from Zakudo and I have um, an Axis One from Zakudo or an Axis Mini rather from Zakudo that um, allows me to you know, position it where I need to, to be able to slide it back and forth, all that kind of stuff. And I really think that the Gradical is one of the best on the market because it's just really, really robustly built, has a great image quality, it has a lot of amazing, amazing tools in it, you know, like waveform and focus peaking and ability to do LUTs and all this kind of stuff available to it. If any of you guys have used you know, an uh, ENG camera, you'll kind of see, I, I think, the, the beauty of that and the robustness of it and how you know, just, just rock solid it is to have a viewfinder you know, at your eye when you're shooting. From there, you know, going toward the top of the camera, I have some of these other Zakudo accessories, relocated the Canon you know, top handle, so I've had, still have the benefit of all the audio inputs and all that kind of stuff, the XLR inputs of the camera. Um, I have a Sennheiser G3 um, on the very, very top of this. You see them everywhere. They're great pieces of kit for, you know, for audio. They're really professional level. And I have a Sennheiser ME64 microphone as an on-camera mic. I really love the ME64 from Sennheiser because it's a really professional level microphone. It's a cardioid mic, so it does a pretty tight pickup pattern, but it's still wide enough to where I could shoot a two shot of two different people and I can still pick up both voices at the same time. And it's also a really sensitive microphone and has just very, very clean audio coming out of it. And from a camera operator perspective, I love it just because it's so compact. You can see I'm not putting you know, some gigantic microphone on the camera. And you know, some people would maybe choose to go with a, a follow focus. I like to focus manually. I just kind of come from that world of like you know, ENG cameras. So I've kind of foregone that just for weight reasons and for trying to keep the rig as small as possible. A couple of other kind of little touches on the rig. I have this ultra, ultra thin HDMI cable. There's a bunch of different people that make these these days and we, we able to sell them as well. Um, they're really, really great because the cables, in my opinion, should not be a feature of the rig. They should just disappear. And these, and you can see, just really drapes over everything. And I can get it out of the way. I can zip tie it, you know, cable tie it, whatever. It really you know, stays out of the way and it doesn't get, in, doesn't get in the way of me at all when I'm shooting. The main thing I like about this, again, is it sort of feels a little bit like, almost like a 16 mil camera um, and feels like it's something that Again, I'm going to be able to go into a lot of different situations and it's going to work and everything is going to be positioned where I need it to be at all times and kind of fits my shooting style. I come from the ENG and documentary world and I really, really like this. Having said all that, it is not necessarily the perfect rig for everybody. It just happens to be what really suits me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we really, really appreciate it. Um, we'll see you next time.